Let's go, pal. What's up, everybody? It's Yeong Cure with a Fallout 4 analysis. If there is one thing that I'm fully expecting from Fallout 4, it's a completely seamless open world. Past Bethesda Game Studios games have been plenty open, but doors more often than not led to a blackout and then a load screen, which briefly took players out of the experience. With the power of next gen, however, I believe that Fallout 4 will be completely seamless, and here are three signs from the trailer that this is indeed the case. Let's start with this scene from the trailer. This looks innocent enough, but if you look closely, you will realize that the dog is seamlessly running from the interior of the house to the outside world. It's very clear here that the interior is connected with the exterior. Next up, I would like to skip ahead to the scene showing Vault 111. The important thing to note here is that the vault is opening to reveal the outside world, sunlight seeping through and everything. And in the next shot, you can physically see the protagonist rising from the hatch-like vault entrance. In previous games, the character would have teleported from a separate, self-contained level to the outside world. But in the Fallout 4 trailer, you can clearly see that there is no such jarring transition. Everything is seamless. Last but not least, I would like to take a look at this scene towards the end of the trailer, where we see the camera inside a vertebrate flying away from this city. In previous Bethesda Game Studios games, cities would be separated from the overworld. They would be self-contained levels or hubs to which players are teleported to once players hit the action button on the door. Now think about this. If the same were true for Fallout 4, I don't think there would be any point to hitching a ride from the vertebrate, as it would only be able to fly around within the confines of the city. Now, if the whole world, including its cities, were to be seamlessly interconnected, all of a sudden, implementing the ability to ride a vertebrate makes total sense. One last thing I would like to point out is that Todd Howard, the lead behind the last couple of Bethesda Game Studios games and the lead for Fallout 4, has alluded to their next game featuring a seamless open world. Check out this portion of an interview he did with GameStar. Are next-gen platforms actually an asset for the PC in terms that now you can stretch the boundaries of the old generation? Yes. Um, the new systems, the main thing that they that they really have, and they talk about processing power and all of those things, mostly that's going to drive graphics, uh, but the amount of memory makes a huge difference for the kind of games that we make. So now that you're getting into 8 gigs uh, and, and so forth, we can start doing things that we would maybe only want to do on the PC for how we... Can you name an example or maybe even a hypothetical example? I wouldn't want to at this stage, um, but you can think about our games and how we want to store it and stream it. And if we want to, if we want to think about characters on the other side of the world, we can just think about a lot more stuff at once if it's in memory, even if it's not on the screen. Um, or if you're wandering by a tavern, you play a lot of Skyrim, right? So you go, or any of our stuff, you go by a building, we, it's clear we haven't loaded mm -hmm. what's in the building until you hit the door and you wait. Well, we can load it, if we have enough memory, we could load it right when you're near, like it's already loaded. We could have the sounds from the inside come out. Having that kind of memory, much more of a PC type architecture, um, that's kind of in our blood uh, that would allow us to do. Next-gen consoles allowing the ability to load sections of the world as players approach them? Sure sounds like a seamless world to me. And with that, I would like to end this analysis. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts about the prospect of a seamless open world for Fallout 4. And to be further updated on Fallout 4, stay tuned right here on Yongye. I'll see you guys next time. Yeong out.